Next we're going to look at setting up the low kick. This is really important because um, one of the strengths of Thai boxing is their low kick game. Kicking people's legs out is such a phenomenal weapon. The problem is, most people are aware of it now, so it might have just low kicked me inside or outside. A lot of people are aware enough to shin check it if it's just a kick. So if we're sparring and it just kicks me, I, after 20 years training, should be able to shin check it most of the time. So he needs ways of setting it up so I'm busy thinking about something else and then the low kick will go in. So the first one is to throw a jab first, then the kick. So jab them, so the hands come up and then kick underneath. And it's almost got a half kick feel to it, as in it's like one, two, rather than one, two. So I need to keep him busy and then kick. Notice my right hand's going forward, Martin's isn't, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Second one is the half kick kick proper, so I go one two kick, and because I'm throwing the cross, my hips already turn, so I can just chop that in one two kick. Yes, but not really necessarily trying to land the cross of power. It's more set up for that kick. But I have to do with the cross because you've got to respect the cross. So my hands are likely to fly up, or I'm likely to try and slip, and that gives me the opportunity to kick. Number three is jab cross push kick. So I go one, two, then push him so his weight goes on that leg. So if he's here, just there, please. So I give him a one, two. Now my left hand is going to go on his wrist. I'm going to push him to the side so he's off balance and he steps onto that left leg. If his weight's on that left leg, he can't block this kick because his weight's on it, he can't push to lift. So it's one, two, push, kick. He does the same thing. One, two, push, kick. Now people have asked me in the past in videos, why are you pushing instead of hooking? Because I'm not trying to knock him out with a hook or the push. I'm trying to push him onto that leg. So the push seems for me seems to do a better job of shoving him across. Don't know why. It's a different energy. A hook is like a, a bang. The push is more like I'm kind of directing him. One, two. Push. Palm on your glove. Yes, that felt bad. So, palm on your glove, on their wrist so they can't punch you. Shove, chop. Nice. Next one. I give him a hard one, two. Bam, bam, I step back and comes to get me. Then his weight goes on that left leg. So, essentially, piss them off by hitting them really hard and then run away. Gives you a hard one, two. Back up, I go after him. See how his head went offline? Perfect. You want to be here, cross. You want to be here and then pivot up, ready to fire again. So I give him a hard one, two, <laughs> step back, he comes in, chop. One, two. Yeah. I'm stepping on my left leg, no shin check if I step on it. And then you get that big, heavy, meaty kick that takes time. So, boom, boom, step back, head off the line, kick, back to stance. One, two, back up. These are all really sneaky ways of landing that kick over and over and over you can use in the fight. I've got more. So, <laughs> next one. I'm in front of my. I slide to my right, he follows me. And then he's going to step his weight on his left leg. So I take a big slide out, he follows, and then I, before he can reset his weight, he's going to kick. So, here we We're equal. Left and right leg pointing at each other. Martin takes a big step to his right. I go to readjust and turn towards him. Weight goes on that leg. You get you, you make them follow you. Boom, good. Bad kick that one. I'll do it to mine. So, we're right here. Slide out. Look, I kick him before, just after his weight touches down, not before. Because I don't want him to do this. I want him to go bang. So, if he does it to me, we will do it. Slide to his right. Yeah. Good kick. More. So. <laughs> Left lifting kick. So he's in his stance and then go left round kick to the inside of his thigh and do this to his leg. So it goes upwards and then chop down on top of it. So if he does it to me, you want this to happen. Yeah. Lift it up and out to the side. <laughs> and then chop down on it as it touches the ground. That's perfect. If you get that where the leg goes, they are screwed. They're taking one on the inside. But don't, uh, don't hook it, just normal round of skip, but upwards, yeah. So I want it to go up and out. And, I'm his knee. <laughs> Let's go. 
Yeah. Good. Last one I learned from my MMA coach Eric Paulson is called the hover kick. So what I do is I fake like I'm going to round ass kick. Martin lifts his knee, the block puts it back down, and then you chop down on top of it. Such a cool technique when it works. You just love it. <laughs> so what would be happening during the fight or sparring? He kicks me, I put my foot down. Kicks me, put my foot down. So now he's worked out my time. Kick, fake. Yeah, and that happens. You get this weird oh, <laughs> where you're not ready for it. So the setup is kick him in the leg, he blocks it. Kick him in the leg, he blocks it. See his timing, up, down, fake, drop, kick. He does it to me. Kick me in the leg, block it. Kick me in the leg, I block it. Time it, chop. Yeah, so you get that nasty heavy leg kick afterwards. So that's, I don't know, eight, seven, eight different ways of landing in the low kick. Try them out, you'll find two or three that work for you all the time. Take those and chop the rest out.